Hey guys, I just wanted to show my appreciation for all my new subscribers that got to our channel and I wanted to give away some of our seeds that we, that I grew last year and I can certify that they're organic. I did not use any fertilizers or pesticides in them. I'm going to give you a brief little history of them and then you, all you gotta do is comment, and I'll put you in the contest, and uh, we'll go from a week from today. All right. Now I have tobacco, and I actually went to a Kentucky uh, tobacco farm, and they were the, some of the seeds were spreading out, and I asked them, "Can I get one of those seed pods?" And they said yes, and then that started. I have thousands of uh, tobacco seeds now. The okra seeds. They, I got from an old farmer and he said they've been in his family for 85 years but they're different than anything I've ever seen they get real fat and uh, they don't really ever get hard okay I got the popcorn from uh, uh, a blueberry festival that was uh, they had in Lineville, Alabama and I've been growing it for years very easy to grow Okay, birdhouse cords, I grow them for the birds. I have kale. Now, I have some beans here that I got at the same show. They're called Family Feeders, and that is the truth. They bloom and bloom and bloom and have tons of beans on them all year long. They don't mind it hot, dry, it's okay. Okay, I have uh, the dipper gourds. I grow them just for fun. Okay, I have... Early Jersey cabbage. Thomas Jefferson beans. I got these from a guy that works at uh, Servants and Faith and Technology. Thomas Jefferson supposedly grew these to cover up a trellis in one year. They have like a pea bloom and they really grow a lot, but they are non edible. Southern Giant mustard seeds. Crowder peas. Grand Rapids lettuce. Bright Lice Swiss chard. Bloomingdale spinach and purple top turnips. All right, just leave a. You have to be a subscriber. Just leave a comment, and I'll enter you in the contest. Good luck.